Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am not doing so much of a come with me to the Dollar Tree, but I am bringing to you an actual Dollar Tree haul that I just hauled. As most of you know, a lot of the Dollar Tree DIYer creators here on YouTube, at their Dollar Trees, their crafting section is being stocked with a lot of really neat new crafting items. And so when I heard Story of My Life and Bargain Bethany saying this, I ran out to my local Dollar Trees and I looked and looked and looked. Nothing was popping up. I asked the managers about it. They told me within the next week or two that they would be getting these products in. And so I have religiously been going to my Dollar Trees just waiting for these items to come in. And guess what? They have come in and I am so stinking excited because I bought so much of Dollar Tree's new crafting items that I can hardly wait to DIY with. And I just had to show you all of the great finds that I found at my Dollar Tree that you might wanna keep an eye open for at your local Dollar Trees if you haven't seen a lot of the other hauls and come with me to Dollar Trees yet. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it because I am so excited about the items that the Dollar Tree is now carrying. And I hope that it's something that they're gonna keep in stock and that they're gonna rotate in and out with new items because they've got some great buys right now. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I've picked up that you can expect to be seeing in some upcoming DIYs. Okay, so today we're gonna do this haul a bit different because I didn't feel like filming in the store for this because I did pick up quite a bit of stuff. Yes, I found these adorable wood crates or bins. I picked up a lot of these. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them but I can see something farmhouse in the upcoming future using them. And so, yeah, I picked up a bunch of these and they still, they had a bunch that had some designs on the side, different uh, handle designs. I just went for the plain one. I liked this plain side. So if I wanted to write something on it, I could. It is becoming a theme with me being late to the party. Talk about my Dollar Trees being late to the party. I think these were so five months ago. My Dollar Trees just got these in this week. I was so stinking excited to see these. I bought two of each shape and size. So I picked up two of these, two of these more longer, narrow type little cubby houses. These are awesome. Again, not sure what I'm gonna do with these, but I picked them up because I just wanted them in my stash in case I wanna use them or I end up having an idea for them. No joke, not gonna lie to you when I tell you that I was so excited when I saw these wood craft cubes. These are the same size as the Jenga blocks, the tumbling tower blocks that the Dollar Tree has, and I mean in the width. And I think this is great because do you know how many times there's a DIY that I wanna do, but I end up needing to cut the Jenga block and I end up not doing it because I know that there are so many of you that won't do the DIY because you have to cut the wood. These are going to be a great alternative or a great filler for the corners. And so I was just really excited to see these. I picked up about 10 bags of these because they're gonna come in so handy. I've got a few more tumbling tower block DIYs coming up for you. And I know with one of them, these are going to help with a problem that I had. And how about this? Another fantastic new product that is going to come in handy for so many DIYs, these chalk writer markers. I found them in silver, so I picked up two of these. Wait for it, found them in gold. I'm not done yet purple, yep, and blue. What a fantastic product. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. These are gonna be great to use in DIYs when writing on maybe those wood crates or something and 
Like I said, if I sound like a broken record, for a dollar you can't beat that. Chalk markers at Michael's and Joann's are like three, four, five dollars. And so, not sure of the quality of these, but for a dollar I didn't mind picking them up and trying them. I've used white ones in the past around Christmas time and I've been happy with them, so I'm guessing that these are gonna work just fine. I also found some really cool metallic markers as well. I found it in blue and this rose gold color, so I picked these up as well. I don't know about you all, but I know that over the last, I would say two years, my Dollar Tree has not carried any of the foam tape. I know that they used to carry the foam squares. They stopped in my area and I found myself having to get them at Walmart and Joann's and pay about three, four, again, $5 for them. Crafter Square has come out with this three-piece pop-up dot tape. And how awesome is this? It comes in three different sizes. Amazing buy. Each roll has two yards of foam tape. This trip, I decided to go ahead and try the Sassy and Chic nail art stickers again. I have tried these in the past and I wasn't happy with them, but these designs were just so stinking cute. You can see I have this set on today. I did the French tip. 10 French tip come in each pack and 10 full sets. I picked up these three designs. I thought that they were fun. I wanted to try them again, and I am so glad that I did because they worked perfectly. This is day three with these stickers on. I will tell you that I did put Sally Hansen's gel clear top coat over it, and that's one of my favorite top coats that I really use when I put on any polish. This here has got to be the coolest find that I found on that crafting aisle. This is a glue and residue eraser by Crafter Square. This was with all of the new crafting items that the Dollar Tree is carrying. I've never tried one of these. I'm thinking that this is gonna be amazing for getting some of that excess hot glue off those strings and whatnot. I can't wait to try this. I can't wait to utilize this in some of my DIYs. And I'm thinking it's gonna make my life a whole lot easier when it comes to hot gluing. Amazing find wood working glue to go with all these cool new wood crafts that they have. This comes in a two ounce bottle. This says that it's a high tack and permanent glue. It says that it's sandable and stainable. So that is really great to know that if you're working with wood and you happen to glue some of your wood together, it's not gonna have that area where you glued it and then maybe the glue came out to the sides where the stain doesn't stick because it is sandable and it is stainable. I can't wait to try this out. So sticking excited for this new crafting aisle that the Dollar Tree has. I know in the past, Dollar Tree has had an aerosol spray adhesive that wasn't too great. Not gonna lie, I've used it for a couple things, maybe things such as stencils and holding them in place because I knew that it wasn't something that was gonna hold very long. Now they've got this spray bottle with an adhesive spray by Beacon Value. This is a multi-purpose adhesive spray and it says that it works on paper, wood, cardboard, and more. And so I think that is amazing. It's worth the try. I picked up a couple bottles of this because really spray adhesive is one of those things that is awesome to keep in your crafting stash because it seems to come in handy a lot with me. And as if that spray adhesive wasn't cool and the wood glue, how about some chalkboard paint by Craft Wise? This is a two ounce bottle, awesome. Can definitely see using this with some of those wood crates maybe. You'll have to wait. I think I'm feeling inspired here and getting a couple ideas in my head that I'll be using these with those crates. I found another size of these mini glass containers and this is a four pack. These are just so stinking cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but honestly, I think that Allie's elves are gonna be utilizing these this Christmas. And so I picked up a couple of these cause these are perfect for that. There's a DIY that I've really wanted to try and it's with an acrylic paint and alcohol. And it's kind of an artistic type DIY and you need these squeezable applicator bottles to do it. It's something I'm gonna try my hand at, something I've never tried before, and I thought that when I tried it, I'd bring you along with me. And so 
These bottles are definitely what I'm gonna need for them and I think that these are a great buy two for a dollar. Found more of these wood crafting signs. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but picked them up because I know if I go back with my luck, they'll be gone. So I picked up two Santas, two of these adorable snowmen. I was only able to get my hands on one of these gingerbread men, so stinking cute. And I picked up four more of the wood Christmas trees. I had picked up two previously because I have got a DIY in store for these that you are not going to want to miss. And I picked up a couple bags of this floral moss. I haven't seen a floral moss at the Dollar Tree this bright and vibrant of a green in a really long time. I know around Christmas time we get that reindeer moss in and that's a bit on the lighter side, but this is such a dark, deep green. It's like that hunter green and I just loved it. I love working with moss, so I picked up a couple bags of this. And of course, I could not pass up the scented pine cones. Great buy. There's about eight or 10 in here. It's got two different sizes. It's got the bigger sizes and the mini sizes. These smell amazing. I've been trying to keep them in a bag so the scent doesn't go away before Christmas. And so the fact that they had them this year, I was kind of excited. I love the smell of them. I like to incorporate these onto my Christmas tree and it just kind of gives it more of that Christmas smell. And so, like I said, I picked up four and I think four bags will be perfect for my tree this year. Did I not tell you these are some great new items that the Dollar Tree is carrying? I love it. I love that Dollar Tree is really starting to focus on the crafting part in their section and really enhancing it and getting new products in for a lot of us DIYers to DIY with. I am feeling so inspired and I can hardly wait to start DIYing some of these items that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and bringing them to you. I hope you all enjoyed today's haul and some of the items that I found that you should most definitely keep your eye open for. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of those thumbs up, they do help my channel to grow along with your comments down in the comment section. They help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything, happy crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody.